You know, there's many ways to enjoy owning land and it's not all hunting related. And today, my buyer agent Nick and I are out on a property in a sugar bush and we're tapping maple syrup. So if you've ever wanted to know how this process happens, stick around. That's today's episode on the American Landman. So today we're tapping maple trees. First, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our equipment. Um, simple, easy stuff to pick up. You're gonna pick up these tubes and these tree pegs. I'm sure there's a better name for them, but I call them tree pegs. Uh, just, you can buy them on Amazon or even local hardware stores, and you can get a set of about 10 to 12 for $15, $20. And then you're gonna pick up simple five gallon buckets if you don't already have them at home. You can buy them at any other hardware store as well with a cap. So you wanna make sure you have the cap on the bucket so you're keeping an eye in case anything falls off the tree, you gotta have that cap on there. And it's really simple. You need this, a power drill, and a hammer if you wanna put the pegs in a little bit harder. But after that, you can get off and running. So I wouldn't consider myself an expert, but for beginners, a telltale sign, whether or not it's gonna be a maple tree, are gonna be a few things. First, you're gonna see some blackness on the tree, and that is from something called a sap sucker. That is a little bird that's actually gonna put a hole in the tree and allow the sap to pour out, and they're gonna suck that sap up. Another way that you're gonna be able to tell is by the bark. And you're gonna have this checkered pattern all up along the bark, all the way up, until you get to the limbs. Now, limbs are gonna have a smoother, uh, almost like a paper-like uh, bark. And you can be able to tell that that's a kind of a maple tree. Now, you can tell the difference between a maple that's a sugar, a red, or a silver, and you have to do a little more research, but it really depends on the bark and then also gonna depend on the buds on the tree and be able to tell what kind is which. You can see in the bark, the checkered pattern. You have the vertical and the horizontal lines. That's how you can tell that it's a maple tree or a type of a maple tree. And now also, depending on the type of tree, also gives you the amount of sap you're gonna get. The sugar maple is gonna give you the most sap where the silvers and the reds are gonna give you a little less. So you wanna try and find those sugar maples and tap those as soon as possible. You can see the black on the tree, and that black is from when the, bir the birds, we call them sap suckers, have put the holes in or cut the slits in the tree and the sap has poured out, and over time it has stained the bark black. It's also a very telltale sign of a maple tree. All right, so when we're tapping the tree, we put a hole in and we try to keep it even with where our tube is gonna be so we're not having any excess tube. And that hole is gonna be about two inches at an upward angle into the tree. So when the sap runs out of the tree, it's gonna run into your tube and then straight down, or sorry, into your peg and straight down your tube into the bucket. And if you keep that hole tight, this peg, you won't have to worry about any excess runoff or losing any sap. Okay, well, two taps are done. We got about a dozen more trees to go. You know, this process is really simple. A few simple tools as Nick outlined. You get out here, you find some sugar maples and you start drilling. The temperature right now is, you know, in springtime, it's perfect. We're in about 32 at night or below freezing at night, warming up into the 40s in the day. And that's perfect temperatures to get this sap flowing. So we've got these trees tapped. There's nothing coming out of them now, but today, this afternoon, we're gonna get into the 40s and this sap is really gonna start flowing. We're gonna to have to check these uh, buckets probably daily because they're gonna fill up fast. We'll collect enough sap to start boiling and we'll show that in a future episode, but we're gonna boil probably about 40 gallons of sap and get about one gallon of actual syrup. The quality of the syrup is gonna be dependent on the type of tree and, and we're lucky enough to be tapping some maple, uh, uh, sugar maple. So if you've ever thought about doing this, you know, give it a try, it's pretty easy. And if you want to uh, get some questions answered and you wanna learn along with Nick and I, then you should send me a message. Just hit that comment below and go ahead and type it and I'll try to get back to you. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's just another way to use your land and you've been watching The American Land Man.
No sap yet. What? No sap yet. <laughs> but it's got to start flowing. 